do we have to celebrate a, a, a flag that now represents divisiveness and, and hate? Macy Gray area, Gray, doubles down on criticism that we need to change our flag. She worked with an artist to create a new flag, one to represent all people of the United States of America. We want to keep the red and the blue because uh, blue and, and the red, the red stands for courage, the blue stands for vigilance and integrity and all these things. Um, and then there's the white, which the Smithsonian says means purity. So I'm saying, which I don't think anybody can disagree with me on this, that America is not exactly pure. Now look at the stars, no longer just white. And there's a thing called the melanin, the melanin scale. And it actually has everyone's skin tone that is on this earth from yours to mine, to the darkest person on earth, to the lightest person on earth. There are also 52 stars to include Washington, D.C. and Puerto Rico. Gray believes both have been refused statehood because the new members of the Senate and House would likely be people of color and Democrats. Actually, I beg to differ on this part because Washington, D.C. as well as Puerto Rico weren't a part of the United States because it was part of the deep state. The uh, Vatican owned Washington, D.C., just like I think they own Puerto Rico. I could be wrong with that. Someone else, if you know the, uh, know it, and I have yet, if, let's put it this way, if I haven't corrected myself, you know, a little later, feel free to comment below and uh, correct me if you don't mind. But if I'm correct, it was part of the deep state. So it wasn't part of the United States. They want to make it part of the United States because of the house control. They wanted to add more more uh, uh, seats to the house, which is Democrat-ran areas, which they knew that they would win. And uh, uh, the actual votes that will come out of Puerto Rico, as well as Washington, is for, and, and I believe that Washington will probably get accepted as a state when the smoke clears. When, it, when all of this stuff, when the dust uh, uh, settles, uh, I believe that Washington will. Now, Puerto Rico, I don't know. We'll see. But other than that, yeah, I think that's what uh, what's going to happen. But back to Mason. That's all politics, it's, but it, it also is very racist. Her opinion piece was offered to multiple media outlets, but only MarketWatch picked it up last Thursday. It's since gone viral with support and pushback. Lots of expletives. Here's a couple of the cleaner comments. South Dakota's Governor Christy Noem tweeted, A new flag? No thanks. Old glory still waves as a symbol of liberty and justice for all. Arizona Congressman Andy Biggs, If you don't like the American flag, feel free to leave. And then as far as go back to wherever, I just want to tell all the haters who say that, because it's just such a monumentally uneducated thing to say. There have been more than three dozen versions of the American flag. The last time it changed was to add stars for Hawaii and Alaska. That was 62 years ago. And so, Gray asks, why not a reset? I shouldn't have to salute it. I shouldn't have to honor it. I shouldn't have to pledge to it. All I'm saying is let's redesign the flag for the rest of us who, who, who aren't a part of, of that tribe. Macy Gray also answers to critics who ask her about those who fought and died for the flag. She claims she lost relatives who fought and died, and she believes they'd be disappointed. The flag they, they died for was used to violate the Capitol and assault other Americans. It's crazy on how people who don't know the history choose to support an agenda as opposed to sticking to their morals. According to dictionary.com, the definition for agenda is a list, plan, outline, or the like of things to be done, matters to be acted or voted upon, etc. She suggests that the old glory's popularity in the U.S. Capitol riot shows that many, uh, many, it become a replacement for the Confederate battle flag, which she called a symbol of opposition and abolishment of slavery. Well, this is what she, she's saying, right? And I'm, I'm looking at it and I'm like, okay, 
Does she not know that the same flag that she's putting down voted for, uh, voted to end slavery? I mean, at the time, it wasn't 50, uh, 50 stars or anything like that. But at the time that this country was coming into its own, it was using this flag here. It was using this flag. Now, this other flag that you see there, the Confederate flag or the General Lee flag and all that, yeah, that flag, yes, I can understand that one being negative. But this red, white, and blue flag here, this the one that you're looking at now, no. No, not at all. But here's the flag that she recommends that we use. Now, if you look at this flag, it is, of course, it has the red, white, and blue on there. But look at the stars. The stars are made of many other colors. Now, this is going to lead into everything else that I'm, I'm going to talk about. It's just a couple of what well, well, probably one more story that I'm going to add to this. I could have linked several other stories to this. It is uh, uh, mockery of the United States, but I'm going to limit it to two. That way I can get more stories out. But you see the multi, multi, multi colored stars you have there on the, on the flag. And to me, it's it to me it's not representing the United States. I fought and went to war for the Stars and Stripes because I believed in it. Now, people, yeah, I, I, it's hard for me to really truly believe in certain people. But as for uh, this flag, no. There is an agenda being pushed. And if you notice, there's a certain type of people being pushed to the storefront, I mean, to the forefront. Uh, uh, of this whole agenda, this whole movement. And they are using as many people as they can, many of these type of people as they can. Now, these type of people is the people of the LGBT, ABCD, EFG community. I have absolutely nothing against them. Nothing. I have nothing against them. But they are pushing this agenda so hard that it can't be, it can't go unnoticed. They didn't do this for the brown skinned Americans. They didn't do this for the indigenous Americans, us. They didn't do this for us. I mean, it slowly trickled through to get certain things. But what they're doing, it's actually putting them in the forefront. Don't believe me? Let me show you what Nancy Pelosi did. The House GOP has successfully stopped two bills that House Speaker Nancy Pelosi tried to fast track through this week. A victory that the chairman of the House Freedom Caucus said was stunning. This was this is stunning. Republic, Republican Congressman Andy Biggs uh, of Arizona, the House Freedom Caucus chairman said during a phone call this week, Pelosi tried to use a technique known as suspension of the rules, which needs two thirds of supermajority to succeed, to push, uh, to push through two very controversial pieces of legislation. One, the LGBTQ Equal Credit Enforcement Act. So that's man, that's a lot to say. Would uh, have given the LGBTQ owned companies favoritism and lending uh, like majority owned businesses might get. The other was the Equal Access to Contraception for Veterans Act. Now that one I don't agree with also because basically if you want to use contraception, con contraception, which is a choice, the ta American taxpayer shouldn't have to pay for it. But as you can see, 
you see what she's pushing. I have nothing against the LGBTQ. I have absolutely nothing against it. I love everyone just the same. This is the way I was taught. But look at what they're, they're pushing. They're pushing an agenda. They're human. Just keep treat everyone as a human and you're good, you're good to go. But they're pushing this agenda so hard that it's becoming blatantly obvious. Bye-bye, Victoria's Secret Angels. The lingerie brand is clipping the wings of their iconic supermodels in favor of a more diverse group of women, including soccer star Megan Rapino. Okay, you go from this to that. And let me point out the fact that she's covering the left eye. I don't know if you guys know about all of that, but you know that, that covering that left eye is a signal or a sign. I'm pretty sure that they're going to still have the angels in their own way. And the thing about it is they didn't have to do away with this line to do this because Victoria's Secret created this illusion for relationships, to spice them up, to spice up relationships. Yes, a lot of women don't look like these women, but up here, they feel like those women. Actress Priyanka Chopra and a transgender model from Brazil. The Fallen Angels are part of Victoria's Secret's massive rebranding effort to be more inclusive after experiencing an 11% market share drop since 2015. Already, these storefront windows are very different, featuring women of all different races, shapes, and sizes. It didn't help that the notorious sex offender Jeffrey Epstein was linked to the brand as a financial advisor to the founder of Victoria's Secret's parent company. I'm thrilled. Yeah, I say do what you're doing now, add to what you're doing. Because of the fact you're doing what you're doing now is showing that you're pushing a heavy agenda towards this. And when I use the word inclusive in the reason why I'm doing it. What everyone knows that you lost uh, you lost all uh, credibility when you were associated with Mr. Epstein and a lot of other things that went down uh, with that. Everyone is starting to wake up. That's why you lost business. It's not because of not being inclusive. It's, everyone is starting to wake up from all of this, this nightmare and feel like, okay, I don't have to do that to feel sexy or feel good about myself or anything like that. But that's it for me on this one. Black Pill Red on another one. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, comment if you have to. And uh, let me get started on the next video. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.